Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's Coffee Break episode, we're going to take a look at what's in this box. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys, and I think it's going to be a really cool addition to the channel and my uh, work setup. Uh, so let's dive right in. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. All right. So first, we've got to get rid of this box. So that's better. So as you guys may be able to see already, uh, this is a 3D printer. Uh, Dobot was cool enough to send this over for the channel to review and uh, for me to test it out for them. Uh, so we've got the Moose 3 uh, model of their 3D printer. Uh, the 3 model actually allows uh, the printer to use and mix three different colors uh, when doing 3D prints, which makes it pretty cool and unique on the market for home uh, 3D printers. All right, so let's start uh, unboxing the printer and take a look at what comes inside. Uh, and then we're gonna get into the setup and do a test print in today's video. And then in a future video, uh, I'm gonna show you guys kind of the process of modeling your own parts and then printing them from the printer itself. Uh, but for today, let's go see what's inside. All right, so let's open this thing up and take a look at what we've got. First up, we've got the instruction manual and step-by-step -step guide for assembly and operation. Then we've got the LCD control panel, some cabling, screws and parts, uh, the antenna, heating pad and base plate, uh, cabling to run the filament through, the filament in three colors, a magenta, a yellow, and a blue, the filament holder pieces, the extruders, there's three of them, one for each color, and then the nozzle and printer assembly, as well as more cabling, power, and interface as well as the control panel. Then we've also got the motorized legs as well. All right, so now that we've got everything unpacked, uh, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse. We're gonna set this thing up and then we're gonna go over a few of the key features, uh, some of the cool benefits and use cases of 3D printers, and then we're gonna demo this thing. Uh, so let's check it out and enjoy. All right, so following the instructions, which are pretty clear, uh, they've got good uh, images and uh, numbered kind of points to hit uh, for each of the assembly parts. Uh, it took about 30 minutes, uh, and I was kind of taking my time to set up and film occasionally as well. Uh, but yeah, you can see I've got everything pretty much assembled. Uh, the last parts would be feeding the filament into the extruders here. Uh, and as you can see, there are three different colors uh, that come with the kit, uh, as well as the LCD kind of control screen here. So you can do uh, most of your prints from the screen and a USB stick if you're uh, inserting uh, your own models into the machine. Uh, and then you can just choose them through the screen here. There's no need to be connected to a laptop or a computer, uh, which speeds up the process even more. And so far, I'm really impressed with the build quality of all of the parts and the overall uh, instructions that came with it. Um, all the parts are uh, either extruded uh, aluminum or metal, uh, a few plastic parts like the holders for the uh, filaments. Uh, it's a really solid build and I'm really impressed. Uh, the product also comes with full support from Dobot, as well as the step-by-step -step instructions in their manual. 
So I just wanted to add a few more things at the end of the video before I let you guys go. Uh, first, I wanted to thank Dobot for sending over the 3D printer for me to showcase to you guys and try out. Uh, so far, I am super impressed and I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for an affordable printer that also provides the uh, unique feature of being able to use three different colors uh, simultaneously, mixing them together or switching between them. Uh, and then I also wanted to just kind of walk through the process. Once you've got it assembled, uh, we simply downloaded a couple test plots, which you can see now. Uh, and it was as easy as loading the file uh, into Cura or another uh, slicer um, software and that will simply convert your 3D model like an STL into a G-code uh, file that can be read by a 3D printer. Uh, from there I simply put it onto a USB stick and plugged it into the printer itself and then on the control panel, you can easily just select it and set a few settings up like coloring and temperatures. And from there, it's as easy as one click print. Uh, it didn't take that long. I think this print was maybe 30 minutes. And then we demoed it again, uh, as you can see with my son who was really excited to make a Paw Patrol badge that we found online uh, and downloaded the 3D file for. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed making it and if you subscribe and follow along, I'll be sure to post an update in a future video as to how I'm liking it and anything else that uh, we've made off the printer. Uh, so I'll put the description so I'll put the links in the description uh, and be sure to check out Dobot. pick one of these things up for yourself. I'll put an Amazon link in there as well. Uh, and let me know in the comments what you think and what you'd like to see in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Let's see. Sissy cat. Is that for sissy? Yes, yeah, sissy cat. Sissy cat.